I find it very interesting that Democrats in these tough races are now crediting Donald Trump, trying to link themselves to it. So yesterday, fake news is praising him. Now, Democrats are coming out and trying to link themselves to him. Told y'all, hell is freezing. <laughs> What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man, and I am Ty Smith. I really do appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure that you're following me on all the platforms you see above and the ones below, and hitting this like button right here is how my content can consistently be recommended to you, okay? I noticed something lately, folks, is that if you hit the subscribe button, you will get a little bell that comes to the side. When you click on that bell, that bell will let you know, and it options you can have you choose all notifications and some notifications make sure you choose all notifications that way when i post a video you will be informed now what i was going to tell you guys is i just wanted to do a little experiment here i noticed that whenever i post videos without me wearing this hat within you know i'll say 10 minutes i'm already hitting in the thousands of views whatever like that wearing this hat right now though i noticed that when i'm posting even within an hour my views are barely five six seven hundred yeah so rest assured, there's an AI out there that's doing it. I just wanted to do this as an experiment to see, and it's raining true, which is why I tell you guys, it's up to you guys to give the video a thumbs up. It's up to you guys to share the video, all that good stuff, because it's apparent that wearing this hat like this is something that is completely being flagged, okay? Anyway, let me press on through this. So you guys all seen some of the videos that I posted earlier, in particular, the ones that's dealing with Kamala Harris and how she's lost a grip on black and Latino voters as well, folks. Yeah, Latino voters. But in this particular case, I showed you guys also video yesterday of CNN and CBS, you know, fake news, literally praising Trump and seemed to be very enthusiastic and a little bit joyous that he went and worked at McDonald's for the time that he was there. Yeah, a good little political move, a genius move, that girl called it. Yeah. And we was like, oh, man, hell is freezing over. Well, like I showed you in the beginning, hell is freezing over because now you have some Democrats speaking out about how Trump helped them. Check this out. So just two weeks to the election day and new polls show Vice President Kamala Harris losing ground with crucial blocks in her party. They have always counted on the Latino voters. But they're now voting for Donald Trump by double digits. The same poll showing her support among black voters hitting a record low with just 72 percent of them backing her. To put it in that in perspective, that's down 92 percent. That's down from 92 percent from black voter support of the Democratic candidate back in 2016. Fox News contributor and former Democrat Leo Terrell joins us now. So I found this poll just fascinating, um, Leo. When you look at the support for Hillary Clinton, it was 92% of black support. When you look for Joe Biden, it was 90%. You got Kamala Harris at 78%. The question is why? Oh, it's very simple. Thanks for having me, Lawrence. You got it. Uh, it's not in their best interest. It's not in the interest of blacks and Hispanics to vote for Kamala Harris. She hurts them economically. They have seen nothing in progress over the last four years. And I want to be very clear. The whole notion of the race car that Trump is racist is dead. It no longer works. And if he is a racist, why are Hispanics and blacks drifting towards him? Because of situations like the barbershop yesterday where you were with him at the barbershop. Mm -hmm. And blacks and Hispanics resonate with him. And he resonates with them. And I'll sit here and tell you, I left the Democrats in 2020, voted for Trump, and I voted for him already. That is what's happening. A shift economically is in blacks and Latinos' interest to vote for Donald J. Trump. Well, it's strange, too, because she's not speaking to that issue. Uh, even with her plan for black males, she doesn't address the reason why black folks are turning to Donald Trump, especially the black males. But I want to get to this because I find it very interesting that Democrats in these tough races are now crediting Donald Trump, trying to link themselves to it. Here's a montage. Watch. Casey bucked Biden to protect fracking, and he sided with Trump to end NAFTA and put tariffs on China to stop them from cheating. Tammy Baldwin got President Trump to sign her Made in America bill. And then she got President Biden to make it permanent. That's why I wrote a law signed by President Trump 
forcing drug companies to show their actual prices. This is wild to me. I don't see Republicans trying to link themselves to Kamala Harris and Joe Biden. <laughs> Lawrence, I thought Donald Trump was a threat to democracy. I thought he was a danger to this country. What you just, and Bob Casey voted to impeach him twice. Mm -hmm. What you saw here was an, an admission from Democrats that Trump policies work for America and they're running away from Kamala Harris. They're running away from Joe Biden. They're running away from the Democrat policy. This is an outright admission that Donald Trump has a policy that will make all Americans great, regardless of skin color or ethnicity. Yeah, people keep asking me, do you believe the polls that Donald Trump is taking advantage? And I say, I don't have to look at the polls. I'm looking at the Democrats change their messaging. That tells me everything <laughs> I need to know. Leo, thanks so much for joining the program this morning. Thank you, Lars. Thanks for having me. Oh, boy. What? I don't know how this is going to look on some of them. I guess, y'all, you look, you look they, they coming over to this side saying how Trump helped them. And I guess and that makes up for Liz Cheney going over and trying to help Kamala Harris, who, by the way, tried to do this speaking town hall event. And they completely, completely screwed. I don't want to say they screwed up, but the lady, I don't know if she's supposed to say this, where she wasn't even going to let the audience take any questions that they may have because... She said they were already pre-screened, but then she even had the nerve to say. Here as a concerned citizen, and I'm really happy to be here. And so I know all of you are looking forward to hearing from both of these extraordinary women. They're both incredible. And so I want to begin by getting going. We have some questions from the audience that we will get to. I have a few questions. As I said, I went around to meet several of you, and I heard some questions that some of you had, but universally, many of you said, the reason I'm here is to see bipartisanship. I want to see what it looks like so I can go home with information. So you're going to get that, okay? So let's get going. Um, so sit back, be comfortable. You're not, unfortunately. We have some predetermined uh, questions. You know what? I'm going to save that video. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm going to save that video. I'm supposed to be focusing on this one, which I want you guys to let me know what you think by leaving it in the comment section and making sure you do what that cloud is telling you to do right there, if you would, please. If you would like to see the next video that I'm going to do in chronological order, most likely it's going to be up there. Things that I do as a variety on this channel will be right here. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray for the last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.